This is IGN News with Save Diamond, the, the Dave Simon. Thank you, Robert. Let's go to news, uh, more news. Two men were shot down at Harding Street, East in London, last night. They're still done from time. Let's go back to Dave Bells, East London. Dave. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Dave Simmons. Uh, yes, indeed, there has been another shooting in Hodging Street in London last night. Uh, it literally happened uh, two minutes ago while I was reporting on the last uh, time that two men were shot dead in Hodging Street in London last night. Uh, Hodgin Street, as we all know, is an incredibly dangerous place to live. Uh, there have been 102 train crashes and 317 men shot down in the last... The turn in a farm. The train crash into... Got me. Dave Bill, ITN News, Hodging Street. Second day, finish the tour, years and weather. It's got a river with Dave Bill. It's like a river, it's a river like out there, Dave. Cloudy! Oh. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to bright up this afternoon. <laughs> Dick, young man. <laughs> right, I'll just go a bit more music. Let's uh, just chill to. Right, he's got a young lad plays a bit more music. We got a young lad on air with us. We have. Well done. Right, stand by. It's Robert, Dave, Be Robert, Rick. It's David, Robert, Robert, Robert Bell's sleepers <laughs> on there. <laughs> right, it's a young lad called Robert there. The fairground, a place of fun and enjoyment to be had by people of all ages, except for it seems today. BBP have just released their latest video game, The Road Rager. Unlike other driving simulator games, this one actively encourages the use of road rage. The idea being that if players can get it out of their systems in the arcade, they won't do it on the public roads. Our resident driving specialist, Humphrey the Toast expert, had this to say. Driving and violence go together like myself and Toast. I love toast. And if things get heated, the players have the option to settle things outside of the game. And just like all other games, there is always a winner and a loser. I guess that's back to driving school for him. <laughs> this is Jugs McKenzie from ITN News. <laughs> The hell? Get back on the screen now! Oh, not this again. Get back on the screen now, there's people watching! No! You're just going to yell at me! I'm not going to yell, just get back on the screen! No! Promise me that you won't yell at me! I'm not going to yell at you. Please just get back on the screen, this is very embarrassing, there are people watching! Fine! Damn it, what's it's going on here? <laughs> right, let's go back to my news and uh, the years and weather. I have to find the news. We've got a bit more sports, sports news with Dave's, uh, with Dave Bells live on Radio 1 in 25 minutes. We've got two minutes and I'm counting, we've got five minutes on live. Turkeys, much like the Germans, have no sense of humour. Recent studies have determined that the common turkey has absolutely no sense of humour, particularly when you tell it jokes about Thanksgiving. I shall now demonstrate my point by telling this turkey a joke. What happened when the turkey got into a fight? <laughs> it got the stuffing knocked out of him. <laughs> I suppose if millions of your friends and family were killed every year, you wouldn't find it funny either. 
Dave Bill ITN. Again, two, <laughs> there's a train crash in Houghton Street in the Tafana, the Tafana, the IC, uh, the Tafana, the Five. Well, this road is going to be cloudy and some rain showers on the way. It's going to be cloudy and some thunder showers and some rain on the way. That's it. We're back to 6:35. Am I going to be Humphrey the Toast expert next time? Yet another sighting of the legendary Big Face. <laughs>